Well, hello there. We finally had a beautiful blue sky today, so we're out here. We're going to try to get some planets and see what else is up there. Anyway, today is Tuesday, October 13th, 2020, and it's 7.42 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. And at the moment, we have three of Jupiter's moons showing. Oh, let me go change that other camera back. Hang on now. Okay, just saw a flash over to the right of Jupiter. And the three moons that are showing tonight, uh, Ganymede should be the one fur furthest to the right, and Europa, we might be able to see it if I... It's right at the three o'clock position of Jupiter. So it's that little bulge there. That would be Europa. Get all the planets in there. There we go. And then over to the left we have Io and then furthest out is Callisto. And that bright star up there. Boy, it's coming in bright. It must be a star in Sagittarius. But anyway, we're going to try to get... All right, there we go. Ooh, it's not coming in good here. But then we are at the 30X on the RA camera, which I knew wouldn't come out very well, but <laughs> let me get a clip anyway. Alrighty. Well, I'm not liking how that's coming out. Drat. So I have a feeling the stacking is not going to come out well yet again. Which is going to tick me off, but hey, it happens. But from here, to where we're going. Yeah, I might just retire you, Skywatcher. We shall see. Huh, Saturn, you're not coming in very well. Drat. Alrighty. Well, I'm not too sure why these aren't coming in better. Because our skies are actually nice out here for a change. I tell you what, these, uh, this handset of the SimScan is such a pain in the butt. They're worthless. Piece of junk. So I do have an iOptron Cube Pro coming. I had one like two years ago. I got it at the same time as the uh, Skywatcher. And I chose the Skywatcher over the other one. And I can't remember why, which, why I liked one better than the other. But I'm going to try for it again. If it doesn't work out, then that's all right. But at least with the Cube Pro, you get a handset with it. You don't have to buy one separately. But anyway, okay. Yeah, my main goal tonight is uh, to get Mars this evening. And it's still a bit too early. It's um, 7.55 p.m. So I want to wait until Mars gets higher up in the sky. And if I didn't say it, the zoomed-in footage here is uh, with a Canon RA camera and the 800mm RF lens without an extender. And we are at the 30X. And over on the other, the wide field of view is the Canon R, which I don't like using for at night because it doesn't have quite as good of low light as the uh, RA does, but I wanted to try something different here. And I might just have to swap cameras, but that's going to take a lot of effort. <laughs> And I'll probably have to do it inside. I have to unhook all these cables and ugh, my oh my. Anyway, hang on. I'll be back. Alrighty, there we go. We switched cameras up. So now the wide field of view is the Canon RA. 
and the zoomed in footage you see 800 millimeter lens and the Twix extender on the Canon R and we are at the 5X and the 10X yeah I like this better all right so we'll try to get Jupiter in that's better I think Jupiter might be coming in better now with this uh, setup. We are at the 10x magnify zoom on the Canon R. And maybe I'm the only person out here <laughs> who does not like the 30x on the Canon R A, but it'd be okay if it had an intermediate in between the 5x and the 30. If it had a 10 or a 15, it'd be perfect. But it doesn't. So we work with what we got. Okay, now let's go take a look at uh, Saturn. Okay, so there we go at 5x. And all right, there we go. Yeah, I'm much happier with the uh, 5 and 10x over here on this camera. But like I said earlier, my main goal out here tonight is to get Mars. And so we're going to have to move all this gear over. So since we're facing south right now for these two planets, so we have to head over to our left, try to find an opening for the uh, east. So I'll be right back. All right, there we go. So tonight, Earth and Mars are really close neighbors. Mars is at opposition, so it's shining brightly up there in the east-southeast sky. Now, I think it's still, it's pretty high up there, but I would like to get it, uh, when it's even further up so there's not near as much atmosphere to cut through yeah it just looks like it's too watery around the outside edges Drat. okay so I'm looking over at the wide field of view we see a we see an airplane <laughs> going from right to left as it blinks on and off red and white that blob we got uh, last week, that was quite cool. I do wish I would have had a better focus, but hey, it happens. <laughs> I am really impressed with this uh, lens, though. I took it out today for just a few handheld shots. And actually got a bird, a woodpecker. <laughs> Now I was really surprised that with an extender on there, F22 in the uh, camera can actually autofocus at that. I mean, that's insane. Look, our focus is all right over there <laughs> and over here. So we're just going to let these cameras run and see if anything unusual pops up. And hope we can get a decent stacking of this planet tonight. Boy, I hope wherever you are you have clear skies because Mars is just coming in so brilliantly. Just by looking up at the sky with your own peepers. No optics needed. <laughs> Well, that was something strange floating by. Huh. I don't know. Alrighty, that should be good enough. We have way too much footage to go through, so it's going to take me forever and a day to <laughs> just review it before I even start to edit. So I'm going to wish you all a great rest of your week and hope all's going well. It's now 8.40 p.m. up here. 
a long night. So y'all take care. Bye now. There we go.